Okay, hello again, and welcome back to Pioneer. We're still doing some trading. Um, so we're back in the system where we ended last time. Uh, we're at Wallace Base. So, I've hopefully found another place to go to. So, alright. Wallace exports air processors, consumer goods, grain, hydrogen, military fuel, and small arms. The best price they have, uh, the highest priced item, commodity they have, is consumer goods. So I think I'm going to buy some consumer goods. Hopefully, we can sell them for more than 235 credits a ton. And I th think the place we are going to is... Let's see, where is it? I think it's Ushelion. That's hard to say. Yeah, there it is, Ushelion. So Ushelion has four stars. That's a nice big system. A, B, C, and D. That's a brown dwarf. This is a white, oh, white dwarf. Two dwarfs and two M-class stars. It's a big system. Right, but we want to go to Urbanski's claim. They've got a space station as well as two regular settlements. Bansky's claim has a pretty low surface gravity, so it shouldn't be too hard to land it. So how much fuel do we need to get to Ushilion C? We need two tons. Okay. Two tons, that's nice. And let's fill up on consumer goods. Oh, uh, this is a big gamble. I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do, but that's okay. Because <laughs> there's really not a whole lot else to do. So we're ready to go. Got a bunch of consumer goods. We got enough gas to make the jump. Our fuel tank is full. Let's leave Wallace Base behind. We'll make like everybody else in the system and leave. That's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of departure clouds, isn't it? by Wallace. You're on an interesting moon, but you really weren't what I was looking for. So like last time, what we're looking for is some luck in having a particular system in boom or bust that will get us more money and we can't tell that until we land so let's see what did I have I have consumer goods so we come down here to Bansky's claim we can look at Sob's that base Right, they don't do anything with consumer goods. We go to uh, Fort Size. Fort Size is a minor importer of consumer goods. And Kuzit, eh? Kuznetsova. Kuznetsova imports farm machinery and carbon ore, but doesn't do anything with. Oh, they import radioactive waste. That's kind of rare. But. Uh, Saez here imports consumer goods. So we're going to take our goods here and hope we make a profit. On the plus side, right, they have a lot of exports. Radioactive waste. We could take the waste to uh, 
because it's a Nova. <laughs> right, a lot of places will pay you to take that radioactive waste. So, huh, I wonder how profitable of trade that would be. Probably not terribly profitable, honestly. Anyways, let's point ourselves at this moon. Or no, this is actually a planet, not a moon. Robansky's claim. And let's get ourselves over there. a bugbear to get out of the sun's gravity. I mean, it definitely helps if you're in at the right point, but sometimes, most of the time, never really feels like that. All right, let's flip around, make for slowing down. Before we actually slow down, let's check the, uh, the orbit. So, Vansky. I, uh, of course it's on the back side of the planet. <sighs> of course it is. So on our current course, shouldn't be too hard to get to, but it's still a pain in the butt. Yeah, okay. That's just the way it happens. Okay, we can see the planet now. We're gonna have to slow down a bit because we have to do this. We have to get around to the other side of the planet. Oh man, it would have been nice if we could just sell it at the space station. <sighs> I guess not though. No such luck. No, we really don't want luck with uh, commodity prices now. We want luck with boom states. We want luck with with the uh, situations that can make us a bunch of money. Hold on a second. some maneuvering, aren't we? Yeah, okay. That's kind of like it. Like I thought it would be. the prograde marker when you're not quite in 
the right frame of reference doesn't quite work or doesn't quite show up where you think it would be. Ooh! Break, 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 break! Wait, no, don't break. Darn it. This is kind of cool. I kind of like this. I don't want to really spin the time. <laughs> I don't want to really glide this slowly over the planet's surface, though. take forever so let's kind of speed things up a bit don't want to speed them up too much though Almost there. There it is. Let's point ourselves at the marker. We're at the city. fast. Yeah. A fair bit of practice to do with approaching these backside uh, ports. Still aren't, don't quite, I still might have it down just right, but we're here. And we're not going to crash, and that's the important thing. Pop our prograde marker just above the fort. And it's pretty much time to break. See the Milky Way in the background. We're feeling all small like. Sometimes just doing this regular, regu doing these regular approaches is 
rather nice and peaceful. And we can see the fort. Take a little more time with the approach. You're in a little bit later. You're out a little bit later. But that flight time, that's kind of nice. When you have a handle on it, I suppose. If you don't, it could be kind of nerve-wracking the first couple times. I knew it was for me. It still is. The bigger the planet, the more the gravity. It can be difficult to approach. But this was nice. This was a nice approach. I like it. Alright, let's get docking permission. Two kilometers, we'll go ahead and throw on the cruise control. Bring her in. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anybody here. Port Saez is not a popular place. Swap to the bottom camera. Level out. Bring those gear down. Look at that. Look at that. Almost right on the button. And we're here. Seriously? Seriously? There's nothing going on here? <sighs> so, okay. Nothing exciting is happening in the universe. So let's see. Okay. Yeah, I think we bought these for 211 credits. That's a bit of profit. That's a bit of profit, yeah. Now we definitely have more money than we started with. Okay. Let's, uh, gas up. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. Wonderful. On the plus side, we do have a number of major exports to deal with. These are good. Computers are... are those, I don't know if those are cheap or expensive. I think they were a little cheaper in Gata. Precious metals. That could make us some money. Small arms and textiles. Because these usually sell for... 2,000 some odd credits, so that's good, but there's only 15 of them, so we can't really do a whole lot with that. They'd be a supplement to, to the mining machinery or the computers. Anyways, right, trading. Right, so we had a good, we had a good run this time, even though, right, we were unlucky with the, the state of the universe. But that's okay. 
right? You can't win them all. We made some money. We landed without problems. That is good enough. So anyways, yeah, we'll call that a day. And see you all later. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.